I am Agapito Amoy. From Lobach. I have been learning sign language for 36 years. For 14 years, I only use home signs. I'm 50 years old now. My parents were in love and gave birth to a handsome first child named Agapito. A beautiful girl followed me. We are both deaf. My parents said they did not want more children because we are both deaf. And they were afraid my other siblings will also become deaf. But my parents did not stop giving birth. So a hearing girl was born after us. My parents were happy because their new daughter was not deaf. Two girls and more children were born after. They got to deaf boys and for girls. Three were deaf. My deaf brother died when he was nine years old. My mother was a grade one teacher in our barangay in Bugho, Lobok. And my father was a farmer. He planted bananas, sweet potato, and corn. When I was seven years old, my mother took me and Arlene to school. We write and when our classmates read. Arlene and I copied them read. We pretend to read. because we live in a mountain. Other children tease us. My younger sister did not fight back. She did not complain. I informed my mom and mom said, don't fight back because God will get angry. Then I stopped being angry. Because mom showed us a picture of burning fire. Hell. But I really wanted to fight back. Because they bullied us for being deaf. When I was 13 years old. while I helped my father in the farm. My sister came and called me because there was a tall man. It was Sir Dennis. A man with a long nose looking for me looking for a deaf person. He was Sir Dennis Drake. I went home with a lot of mud in my body. When I arrived, Sir Dennis signed to me. He showed me pictures. And I just look at him. My face had a lot of mud. Because I was planting rice. And my feet were also muddy. When school started, I was 14 years old. 
my younger sister, Arlene, and I went to Tag Billerin to go to school with Sir Dennis. My parents and siblings cried because they missed us. Because Tag Billerin is far from Lobach. But we were all just patient. Because our parents want us not to be ignorant. And people would not tease us. When we arrived in Tag Billerin, I saw we have dorm where we can stay. We have a dorm mother. We have dorm rules, schedules for cooking, taking a bath, playing and studying lessons, making assignments and projects. We also have home schedule, like here in Mahal Deaf Academy. To make my story short, my sister and I graduated elementary at City Central School and High School at Tag Billerin City School for the hearing impaired. There was no BDA before. You, students here, were not yet born. There was no college for the deaf. But even if we would like to go to school, we had no money. My mother's salary before was only 500 pesos per month. So we applied for work. I worked as a cook at Garden Cafe. And Arlene was a waitress. When my younger sister started college, my mother became sick and had maintenance medicines. We loaned money here and there. So as the oldest son, I helped to support our younger sister's school fees. When our mother retired, we helped each other. Our third sister graduated in University of Bahal, OUB. After she graduated, she married. And teach in Thailand. We only had two sisters in Holy Name University, or HNU, who needed help in tuition fee, allowance, and boarding house. We helped pay for them. And we stayed in one boarding house together to save money. My mom and dad would go to Tag Billerin for checkup and to visit us. They would bring bananas, rice, and anything from their farm. And then my youngest sister graduated college. After our youngest sister's graduation, our beloved mother died. Now my two sisters are teaching in America. The 
other sister is also a teacher. And married our municipal mayor in Lobach. Our youngest sister, Aira, after she graduated college, she became the assistant school administrator and teacher at BDA. And we were very happy that she worked here at BDA. And now she's also a teacher in America. When my younger sisters finish college and have a job, I decided to marry also. When my sisters were still in school, I met a beautiful girl who made my heart skip a beat. Our relationship was not very serious at first. Because I still had a responsibility over my younger siblings. And the right time came. When I had savings, I married Melissa. A waitress at the Garden Cafe before. And we have three handsome sons. All are hearing. My younger sister, Arlene just married a foreigner. Our youngest sister is planning to marry her American boyfriend. My dad has no more plans to marry again because he's old now. He's 95. I am telling my story now as a deaf person and with hearing parents and sisters. It was painful for us to see my younger siblings laugh. And when we asked them, they can't sign to us what happened. Arlene and I tried to teach them, so my parents learned sign language. When we learned the right signs. But my dad had a hard time learning the sign. But I realized, maybe we will not be here today. If my parents did not care for us, I am now a father. It hurts so much to be away from my children and wife. They are in Lobach and I am here in Tag Billowin. Just like before when I was in school and my parents were in Lobach. Parents, I salute you for being patient with your children and your sacrifices. So your deaf children can succeed. Take good care of them, just like your other hearing children. Call them by their name. Don't say. The mute is texting. The mute goes to Tag Billerin. 
graduates, and completers. Thank your parents and your guardians and your sponsors continue to show good habits because it will make you succeed as in our theme today Filipino youth the key for a stronger future of a new Philippines I also would like to use this opportunity to think idea Philippines Sir Dennis and Ma'am Marilou Drake If God did not use you to send me to school, I can't help my family and sisters. I am working as a cook and baker at the Dow Diamond Hotel for 31 years. I won't say anything else because my message is very long. Thank you very much and congratulations.